Hi, this is Lorraine Watry, and I am currently working on illustrations for a children's book by Pauline Hawkins. And you can see on my uh, board right now, I have four versions of the same image. And this is one of the first pages of the story. And the story is about a blanket and how it is representative of a mother's love and how over time the blanket is not needed as much by the the baby and um, just kind of the the fun story to go along with it. So I am currently trying to figure out what uh, colors I will be using for the different parts of the story, the different um, characters and rooms and things. And I have printed my um, drawing of this page onto a piece of Fabriano 140 pound watercolor paper. I scanned my drawing into my computer and then I uh, reduced it in a graphics program that I have and put it um, four times on the page and then printed it out on the watercolor paper. And my printer is an Epson Workforce um, 4734. And I do know that I want the blanket to be green. The um, ink that is used in the Epson DuraBright ink is waterproof. So I can paint over these lines without um, worrying about them smearing. And this is just a quick way for me to get an idea of color before I get going on the actual book paintings. And the, the book itself is going to be um, uh, 17 individual images, a couple of them, well not a couple, but quite a few of them are two page spreads and then there are a few that are uh, just half a page images. And I do know that I want to have the uh, blanket be uh, kind of a minty green color, that's why I'm just going and painting it in on all of these in that color range. And so I'm not really worried about doing all of the values and shadows and things like that right now. It's more just getting an idea of what colors I want to use. So I've decided to do a, um, a, a color scheme that is a little paler, one that is uh, more bold, one that is uh, mostly pink, and then one that is a, a nif another mix of colors down here. So this one down in the bottom, I decided to try as a pink and blue with the green blanket. So I've got a mix of cerulean with uh, some amazonite genuine from Daniel Smith for the walls of this one. Oops. And because these are just color studies, I'm not worried about trying to make them perfect and, and if I go over lines here and there or don't quite get my technique exactly um, the way I normally might paint for watercolor, it's just a quick um, painting to get an idea of the color. And therefore, it's called a color study. And I do know I want the bed frame to be white or cream, I guess, either one of those. And let's see, there are some openings in the bed frame there. Put those in. And then um, I think I have this open to the back as well. I may change my mind on that and make that uh, just a painted um, place uh, with a design on the bed, but we'll see. For now, I'll leave it as an opening. And uh, let's see. I think for this one, I wanted to try uh, pink for parts of the colors on the bed. So I'll have uh, pink hearts. And I do know that the, excuse me, this 
whacked my phone camera here. Um, there's a giraffe down here that is turquoisey blue, so I'll put that in. And some of the smaller um, pieces that are in this little tiny mock-up will not be able to um, be painted in the way it will eventually be, but we'll get start. Okay, and then I think I'm going to try the sheets as pink, so there's a little bit of a overlap of a sheet right there, and then the sheet that's the bottom sheet on the bed would be the same color. I guess I could have just painted that all in at once. And I guess I'm kind of going back and forth over whether or not I want the padding that's on the uh, bed right here to um, have uh, color or if I want it to be white with um, some little pink dots on it. Um, hmm. I guess I will have to figure that one out. The uh, little girl doll that is on the desk there is going to be kind of a peachy pink. So I am adding a little bit of Oriolan to my Quinn Rose and we'll just get her clothes quickly painted in. And then she has a little cap on. And there is a uh, bunny right here that um, I w imagined as white, so I'll probably leave it that color. And turtle. I think the turtle is going to be this green appetite color and maybe some pink flowers on it. Maybe I'll go ahead and put uh, some pink curtains. Try that. So uh, I will go ahead and keep working on these and then show you the variety of the different ones uh, at the end. And I'll just try some different things and see what I like and go from there. All right, I will um, give you an update as I get to the last one. So here is uh, the uh, page with the four different versions of one of the images for the uh, children's book. And I uh, just kind of went through and tried different color combinations and knew that some of my uh, characters that were going to be in the room or the um, stuffed animals, some of the, the things inhabiting the room were going to be the same color pretty much throughout. And then I just kind of played with colors that were on the walls and some of the um, parts around the room to give it, get an idea of some different versions. And I started down in this um, square down here and um, it's all right, but it's not uh, one of my favorites. It's just a little too, um, um, I don't know, doesn't quite work together completely. And then I knew I wanted to create one that was more pinks uh, because it is for um, a little girl's room and I but this one feels with the green blanket like it almost feels like it's a watermelon um, type of color scheme and um, so I wasn't a big fan of that one and then this one is uh, more greens and some yellows and a little bit of blue and pink um, scattered in there feels a little more unified, but it also has a variety of color still, so that gives me options for um, the future parts of the room that aren't shown there. And then this one is a little more 
analogous with uh, green, yellow, and blue um, kind of color scheme, and there are little touches of pink, but um, almost feels a little more like a little boy's room, um, or just not quite that it works together that well. And so actually out of all four of them, this room over here with the uh, green and yellow and then some blues and pinks in parts of the room um, is my favorite and it's kind of warm and inviting. So that is probably the color scheme that I will be going with.